What up? It's your boy, Scallywag Sam, and God almighty, my man Sting, Stinger, has come to AEW. Last night's episode done it was insane. We had Cody Rhodes, The Natural, Dustin, and his squad versus Taz and their group. And Taz, Will Hobbs, they were just putting a beating on Cody, and then Sting comes out. And yes, winter is coming. Sting, the, the icon, has come out and super quiet, no action really, just kind of playing that aura of super cool. And he faced up against four generations of wrestlers. Start with Arn, then it went to Dustin, then Cody, and lastly to Darby Allen. Now, this is setting up for Darby Allen versus Sting, or maybe they work together. And I just love that. And it's actually crazy the timing of this too, right? Because if you think about it, the Undertaker just retired and then Sting comes, right? No coincidence. Beyond that, we also saw Kenny Omega beat John Moxley, which is great. I know John and Renee are having some things with their personal life, so it kind of gives an extra strategy for John. But now that Kenny's won, that's perfect for his character, and then Impact's promoters there as well, and they're taking the title away from AEW. It's just setting up for another deal with not only AEW and Impact, but they also have that deal with New Japan. So again, this cross-promotional, it looks like WWE should think twice about how they approach wrestling. They don't have the monopoly anymore. Again, this was a crazy, crazy episode. Insane. And it just showed me again that AEW is pushing a big effort right now, right before the fall. Because again, winter's coming. They won today's Wednesday Night War. We'll see what happens next episode. Again, it's your boy, Scalo XM. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And again, until the next episode.